Hi, I'm MJ. I'm actually officially a real dentist here at SmileWorks and I am here to help you with your dreadful social emergency of having a uh, crown broken off with the tooth still inside. And that's not something at the moment that the um, NHS services and the urgent care services are going to help you with because it's not classed as an emergency, but I'm here to help you fix it for you so at least you can look a little bit more uh, confident in these terrible and trying times that we've got before us. Desperate times call for desperate measures and some of you will have crowns at the front of your mouth and sometimes crowns come undone and when crowns come undone they either come undone with the stump remaining like this so the crown is empty or they come undone like this sometimes with the tooth the root still in the gum and the crown full. So if the crown is like that and it's full of tooth, there's obviously going to be a little bit of a problem because there won't be anything that you can do at home in order to safely stick it back into place because there's nothing to hold it onto here and there's nothing to secure it onto here. And if you use temporary uh, crown and bridge cement, what may happen is it may temporarily stick for a couple of minutes but then this crown that's in your mouth may become a choking hazard and we don't want that. What on earth do we do about it? So what I want you to do is with your tooth that you've lost, so your crown out of the mouth, we are going to send you a putty, uh, a blue and a white and what you're going to do is you're going to mix them together like this, make sure they're nicely mixed and you can do that with your hands. I feel like a proper little dentist. So, once you've got that putty mixed, so once you've got your putty mixed, what I want you to do is I want you to take an impression of your own mouth um, with the space with no crown in it. So I need you to really squeeze it in, squeeze it over, so that it goes in all the nooks and crannies and it takes an impression of the entirety of the teeth and the back of the teeth. So in the mouth, so in the mouth, it'll look a little bit like this. So you'll have this going over from the palate to the front of the mouth. And then you just wait until it's set and that takes a few minutes. Setting, I need you to wait with it in your mouth just like this and you can give it, once you've secured it into place, you can give it a little press and then just wait. The ideographer, this is not a uniform colour and you should, you should always make sure that all of the, the white and the blue are completely set and completely mixed in together. So it should be much more uniform colour than this. Thank you, Kerry. Kerry mixed it again for me, and for the purposes of this tape, this is a uniform colour. It's fully set, and you'll know it's fully set, and it might take up to five minutes to, to completely set. It'll be hard. You just pull that off your teeth, and it will leave you with an impression inside. And that should be, I mean, this is just a, a dental model that I took it off. Um, that should be all of your teeth, but without your crown, which you should have in your hand. What you do is you send us this, and you send us your crown and we will get back to you a little bit of retainer with a fake tooth in it for you to wear in your meetings to combat this terrible social emergency. So our lovely patient has sent us back this perfect impression of her teeth, which has now been in there, which is the perform, which is the disinfection and she sent us her crown. So Kerry is now going to cast this up, because Kerry's better at it than me. Where we pour plaster into the mold. And we're going to leave him to set. There's the crown. There's the model. See you later. So we've just taken the mould out of the impression material and here we can see um, this lady's front teeth missing the crown and the crown 
we're going to just pop in there so that it can be held within a retainer. So that is what her mouth normally looks like. She did a really good job of taking the impression. So uh, well done to you, almost a dentist. So we've put the crown back into the space where it came from and we're just about to make a retainer to cover it and hold the crown in place. Okay, so here we've got the crown in the middle and we've just made a little retainer to hold it in place. So this will clip in to the mouth and it'll look good, it'll look presentable. Um, it's not for eating, crown's still in there. This is the original crown. We just suit it in there, clips in, jobs are good. Wrapped up and ready to go.